Olá, moçada. Eu tô aqui com o Jimmy Son. Hey, how's it going? E vai ter um papinho com ele. Jimmy, I am a guy that believe uh, Bitcoin is going to be uh -huh. the uh, uh, central currency. Uh -huh. So for that, I think it has to reach $1,000. If it uh, becomes the world... Becomes, $1,000, it's like... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <Not really. laughs> Almost. Uh -huh. uh, do you believe that? There's people that believe that Bitcoin will be will go to infinite because the dollar is going to zero. That's yeah, I, about talk. Uh, yeah. I, I, it's hard to say how long fiat money lasts, uh, but I, I think it's inevitable that all of them will go to zero eventually. The average lifespan of a fiat currency is something like 26 years. Um, so. You know, uh, they're very good at sort of like delaying the inevitable, but I, I believe that it will sort of eventually um, go to zero. So it's hard to measure Bitcoin in those fiat currencies when they don't exist anymore. Yeah. So, uh, so your thoughts on the recent uh, atomic bomb in the market? <laughs> Do you think FTX is going to be here in a couple of months or? I mean, I, it, on a long enough timeline, when you when you have these centralized exchanges, they're all going to go to zero, right? Like, because uh, yeah, you know, like nothing lasts forever. Uh, a, a lot of these things. Uh, I think it was Warren Buffett that said, like, invest in stuff that even a complete idiot can run, because eventually a complete idiot will. And that's true of any of these exchanges. Is that uh, they're going to make some bad decisions at some point, and uh, and they're, they're going to go down. Now, FTX in particular was uh, particularly egregious in what they did, but that's, I, I think it's inevitable that you know all of uh, you know it, it goes away. Now, what the timeline is, I don't know. I don't really care. I don't have any accounts with them, so I think I'm I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a lot of people today that rely on exchange. They don't put their their uh, cryptos in in hard wallets and everything. Yeah. And uh, after all, we. We are having to trust uh, someone. Mm -hmm. We want to trust this world mm -hmm. that we live right mm -hmm. now. I myself, I, I completely trust uh, Binance with my account. I think that's a very bad idea. Um, I, that, here's the thing: like, if you don't care about security, then you're going to get destroyed. That's just how it is. Uh, whether it's privacy or something else, you're you're going to get wrecked if you don't. Um, if you don't uh, take care of your own security and you know uh, when you put money on an exchange that's an enormous tax service so uh, this is the thing like a lot of people haven't been taught about security or self-sovereignty or anything like that so they just think this is like some gambling vehicle and for them leaving it on an exchange makes sense so they can trade faster but you have yeah, that's the point I, yeah. I had to make that disclosure right? yeah. I'm a technical analyst and I'm a, I'm a trader so yeah yeah, so that that's Sometimes the problem. Sometimes it takes it takes uh, a long time for you to uh, change uh, your money from a yeah. mm -hmm. hard wallet to exchange in order to trade. Um, yeah, that's that's the problem. Yeah. Okay. All right, Jimmy. Thank you very much. Very kind of yours. Nice to see you again here in La Bitconfi, Buenos Aires. Thank you. Te vejo na próxima. Ciao. Ciao.